Hello friends, my today's video is on imperialism in India and China. The word imperialism is derived from the Latin word imperium which means power. Before going in deep about this topic, let me tell you the meaning of imperialism and colonialism. A country's dominance over the economic and political interest of another country nation to exploit its natural resources is known as imperialism. The European nations followed this policy during 1763 to 1870 AD. The term colonialism refers to the policy of acquiring and maintaining colonies for exploiting of both natural and human resources. The European countries adopted this policy during 1492 to 1763. The European countries such as England, France, Spain and Portugal were initially interested only in colonialism. They adopted this policy in order to acquire and maintain the colonies for the purpose of economic exploitation. The industrial revolution in Europe created a great shortage of resources, that is the raw materials. Improvement in the railways and telegraph system made the distance shorter. The discovery of new sea routes and the growth of population in European countries forced them to have political interest in the backward re regions. The rise of nationalism added fuel to their adventures. The policy of colonialism became the policy of imperialism. The European countries followed various forms of imperialism. The ultimate aim to dominate the political as well as the economic life of the native countries. The mother countries with their modernized navy and army invaded and captured many Asian and African countries. They gave a wonderful reason saying that it was white man's burden to civilize the black people of Asia and Africa. Actually the real reason was to loot the natural wealth of the native country and to spread the Christianity. India, China and Japan were overpowered. There were no strong native rulers who could fight against the Europeans. But in India you can find the history and see the name of the great ruler Sirajuddullah and Manchu king in China were handful of rulers who fought against the European. Germany and Italy became unified countries in the year of 1870. The great demand for the raw materials was created by actually the industrial revolution. The sphere of influence was adopted by the European countries in China. The English East India Company was found in 16,000. The French East India Company was established by Colbert. The Second Opium War came to an end by the Treaty of Peking. The policy formulated by England and USA for China was open door policy. The Mughal Emperor who gave permission to English East India Company to set up trading post at Surat was Jahangir. The Republic of China was established under Sun Yat-sen. And friends, I think it is very important to say about the main cause for the rise of imperialism. Yes, 
it was industrial revolution industrial revolution took place in europe so there was a great demand for raw material the industrialized countries could not find new market in europe because they followed the protective trade policy germany and italy were unified based on ideology of nationalism the group of german bankers and engineers got a franchise to build a rail road in turkey ottoman public debt administration controlled the economic system of turkey and the system of imperialism that emerged at the paris peace conference was mandate system the mandate system was suggested by general jan smut the mandate system of imperialism was emerged after the first world war in many colonial countries imperialism indirectly promoted national unity mughal emperor jahangir gave british the permission to set up a trading port at surat the french east india company was established in 1664 the french and the british fought these wars in india called as carnatic war the nawab of bengal in india opposed the british attempts to use duty free trade was robert Clay. The Battle of Palasi took place in the year of seventeen fifty seven. The Battle of Palasi was led by Robert Clay. The English East India Company acquired the civil rights of administration in Bengal from the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam too. the battle which marked the beginning of the east india company's formal rule in india was battle of mani the battle of baksar took place in the year of 1764 in india the subsidiary alliance was introduced by lord wellesley lord Dalhousie annexed many states in India using the policy of doctrine of lapse. In China, the foreign trade was restricted to the cities of Canton and Macau. The British started growing opium in India and selling it to China. The first opium war took place during eighteen thirty nine. to 1842 the chinese sold tea and coffee to the british but always wanted the payment in gold the first opium war ended with the treaty of nanking as per the treaty of nanking china gave away his island called as hong kong to the british In China, Taiping Rebellion took place in the year of 1854. The Second Opium War took place during the year of 1857 to 1860. As per the Treaty of Peking, in 1860, China gave away his port Kowloon to the Great Britain. The first Sino-Japanese War took place in 1860. At the end of this war, China gave away his island called as Formosa to Japan. The Boxer Rebellion was instigated by Express Dowager. The Express Dowager was also known as the Old Buddha. the policy adopted by us and england to partition china 
is known as me too policy friends hopefully my this video is useful for you if you feel it is useful please subscribe my channel like it share it and comment so that i can send i can make some other videos which will be useful for you thank you for watching my channel